morning, everybody. It is an exciting day because today we get started with some building over at the new aquarium. That's right, finally starting that facade. It's gonna be amazing. They're putting up trusses today. Starting framing, it's gonna be amazing. Of course, Mike is over here working on the fish spot. It's our Jira fish, you gotta do the maintenance. You know, he's got the bashy pump over here, got the sump and all that type of so stuff. So everyone's busy over here at the Reptarium. The animals are all looking good, cupcakes looking good. And that's one of the things I love to do is when I get into work, I love to walk around. Look at Al Machino. I mean, how incredible it is. Got Maria over there with Brillo. Let's go take a look at Brillo really quick. Hey, buddy. Connie, of course, is working on Sunfire over here, just giving a little spray down. She's getting ready to shed. So we want to keep her humidity up and stuff like that. And of course, we have Maria with Brillo. Hey, Brillo, come on up, boy. Come on, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, gosh. Right. By the way, we have a couple of surprises here in the next couple days. Can't say much about it, but wild. You guys are going to be absolutely amazing. So, what do you say we head across the street? We'll see what kind of progress they're making on this building. It is heating up, guys. I told you, once it's going, it's going to be absolutely wild, and it's getting wild. One of the cool things that's happening with the pond is all the rocks ended up showing. The rocks here have moss already. Once these are set, the water gets all over. This moss is just going to kind of continue to grow and kind of spread. And that's what brings it all to life. But look at all of these rocks. It's going to be part of the pond, that naturalistic water. I mean, these things are cool. Look, we got like three things growing out of here. Again, you know, it just brings everything to life. You want it to be as natural as possible, right? One thing I hate when I see ponds is when it's really aesthetic and it's kind of like, you know, man-made. You know, you want it almost to feel like this was here forever. Like we built the building around the pond. And with these rocks, with just all this beautiful concave. Look at how amazing this is right here. Almost looks like a big piece of live rock or coral or something like that. All that lichen and moss on there is going to be amazing. The size of this rock right here. Ooh. Ooh that thing is a big beastie right there. And this is all going to go in. We got some other flock over here. It's amazing. So let's go ahead and check with Ed and see what the progress is today. Well, more rocks. We are setting rocks here because they are doing the block wall over there right now. Oh, okay. It's going to be something that's decorative going around those columns by the entry. Oh, okay. Which is also making me second guess if I should dig this this week. I might might focus on building this up to the right elevation, put some of the pump stuff in at the far end, and hold off on that excavation because talking to Matt, he said these guys are coming in to do the metal framing, and I think if we dig that pond, it, they're going to be fighting. I definitely want to build this up. We're also we're putting in a wall here to build this up so we can get some plants. This wall will be two and a half feet away from this, so this will allow we have access, right access to for cleaning, for maintenance, installation, everything. It's easier for everybody. Perfect. Yeah. One of the things I really love about next door is being able to kind of have a fresh start, right? We've had five years at the Reptarium now to learn from things. We built this enclosure for Ivy. We love it. It works well. She obviously loves it. But we thought like, how could we make it a little bit better? So we made some tweaks. We made the water area a little bit larger because she's only getting bigger. And although she has plenty of room, we wanted to have it a little bit more. And that was kind of thing. Like every animal that is moving from here across the street, which is the majority of them, are getting an upgrade in their enclosure. One of the things that I really like that we're doing across the street is the fact that we're not going to have cages that are like kind of a little bit more shallow, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, Burmese pythons don't climb that and much. And Jeffrey's enclosure is completely fine, although he will get a larger enclosure because he's getting bigger. He doesn't really need the space, but I just think that the larger enclosures look better. Complete enclosure, floor to ceiling. It just looks more impressive, right? And you can have some ledges and some branches, even so with a snake like a Burmese python that might not climb a lot. It might climb up onto a ledge. And hang on a ledge in the basking spot or something like that. So that's one of the things that we're going to basically have virtually no short enclosure, except for stuff that is for smaller animals, you know? When it comes to the bigger pythons and stuff like that, it's all gonna be floor to ceiling Lots of stuff. And that glass, it just makes it look so cool. So a lot of thought has gone into the design across the street. And again, every enclosure is gonna be an upgrade from what's here over at the Reptarium. And that's when I was talking about crews working together, right? The pond guys have to work with the mason guys. They have to work with the builders. They have to work with the framers so that everything, and speaking of framing, this is pretty impressive here. These are the trusses going in right here. And you know, until you actually see them, you don't really realize. Like, I'll be honest with you, I didn't understand that there was gonna be such an overhang. You know, number one, it, it builds the height of the building to make it more impressive in the front. And this is going to be all wrapped in like a gold type of uh, aluminum, right? So you're going to have basically blue tinted windows. You're going to have blue siding, Not siding like for the aluminum sheathing. And then up top, it's going to be like a gold color. So it's going to be really cool. Super high, but this overhang is going to be really cool. Again, I didn't realize that was happening. And they're putting all these trusses all the way along. And just in the last hour, they've made all this progress. So I'm assuming that they're going to have all the trusses in today. After the trusses, then they come up and they start actually putting the, the beams here to make the framing for the outside where the windows are actually go, the glazing actually Things goes. are heating up. I love a job that site. is busy like this. It has a million things going on. It just, it's exciting because it means that we're making huge progress. 
wanted to bring Lori over to see the progress because you know from across the street things that look different you know you can't really see the overhang plus I wanted her to see the pond and stuff like that. Get over here Lori. Isn't it cool how it's like overhanging like this? Yeah. We got trusses. We got trusses. And they're going up quick. I mean, they're going to... Yeah. I think they'll be done with the trusses today, which is pretty cool. Again, you know, you got that, like, blue beneath and then gold up top. I think it's going to look really cool, all right? And look how, crazy. I mean, look how tall it is. I mean, it's just really going to be an impressive, you know, entrance, you know? Speaking of entrance, check this out. Lori's excited. <laughs> yeah. So, have you seen the pond at all? Oh, that, that the pond? So, this is... That's the it. <laughs> so, this is basically... Waterland filters are going to go. So, those lights are going to go in here. Yeah, it will be water, but it'll only be about two foot deep over here. Here. That's basically part of the filtration system over here. Pond widens out here to a much bigger you know, pond here. And then this is the start of the waterfall. I'm confused. I thought they just dug these out of the ground. I'm like, where do these come from? <laughs> Actually, he said there's going to be a bunch more rocks coming too. He said this isn't all. Oh, about. is this what got delivered the other day? Like, well, this they morning. Got delivered this morning. Oh, this yeah. morning. Where do these come from? I don't know. It's wild though, right? Yeah, this is honestly, this is what I've been waiting for is to actually see some progress. What's happening now? <laughs> It is. Hey Brian, uh, Brent the operator said he'd give you a tutorial of setting rocks. You want to hop in the machine? Oh my god. <laughs> is that even a question? Let's do this. Let's... <laughs> well, we got to get the machine to start. <laughs> oh no. This is dope, man. This is like a kid. I mean, every kid wants to play with like giant, you know, excavators. And this is, uh, this is amazing. Yeah. It's there's gonna... a lot of joysticks in there. There's a lot of, there's a lot going on, man. I don't know what to touch. Don't you know, touch anything. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> you don't think you can just lift this by hand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. Perfect. Now he'll hook it. I'm really scared. <laughs> A bit more this way. Come back up. Come a little bit to me. You did it. You did it right there. Right there. Straight down. You did it. You're a good teacher, man. There's a lot. There's a lot of things to do at once. A little harder than a skill crane at like the fair. That was awesome, dude. That was sweet. Oh my god, that was awesome. So forever, I'll always know that this rock I actually set, which is really good. Uh, it wasn't the greatest, but hey, we did it. It was awesome. Lori would have done it like, <laughs> swinging like this. You think pretty macho, huh? That was pretty manly. It was pretty manly. Thing. Gemma just went through a shed. She has kind of blown her cage up with a shed. You'll see she has a lot of stuck shed on her. So what we're going to have to do is get her into a soak. Get her all soaked up. She's back on a food strike, which is really weird. She went 15 months without food. And she ate for like six months solid really good. Now it's been about three months since she's eaten again. So hopefully with any luck, this shed cycle, because we're back in the summertime, she'll actually get going and maybe she'll start eating again during the summer and start putting on some pounds. She's such an amazing snake, but I hate to see the fact that she's been so finicky. But we'll get her in a soak and clean up her enclosure and uh by the way she's gonna have a big eight foot by six foot by seven foot tall enclosure across the street like help please it's heavy or something it's like 90 degrees in here and it's so hard to do any physical lifting oh come on Gemma, stay in the tub i can't wait to be on vacation okay thanks mike for doing that <laughs> No problem. I mean, after I'm gone next week, because I'm going to be in Mexico, things are going to get a little bit more difficult around here, aren't they? Are you going on vacation? Oh, Lori didn't tell you? Yeah, I requested all off. Spur of the moment, but you know. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'll see you Let's after the 4th. Clean the... Uh, You're going to do my shoot? Yep. Clean the enclosure. Yeah. Okay. He's jealous and he acts out because, you know, Mike is he's still growing up. He's a young guy. We call him that, young buck. I, I'm, anything, some, I'm you, not always... I'm just ready to clean this enclosure. She keeps talking. So like, Ow, Mike. You're going to ruin him. This is the thanks I get for all the work I do around here. I already sucked that out because uh, I didn't know we were going to film it. I got ahead of the sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is this time lapse? Dad? I'm about a tooth. A toothy. I found another tooth while I was cleaning. Oh really? Why didn't you tell me? I did. You know what they call teeth in Mexico? The entes. I just told you that. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to Mexico. Um, no, I'm I could show you. I'm good. I can show you a ticket right now. Hola, como estas? Made me up. Me amo. Miguel. This is really cool. Tooth in Spanish. <clears throat> All right. Los dientes is uh, el guapo chumongo. It's a good looking 
humongo. Uh, I mean, it is a good looking tooth. Look how shiny, pearly white that is. Except a little cavity on the it's bottom. Necesito cuero, cuero, alto. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. It would be like me saying, It makes I sense. Need. You know, we really learned what worked and what didn't work here at the Rep Harem. You know, when we built Lucy's enclosure, number one, it worked out fine. I mean, she loves, you know, obviously Juliet's in the water. They love bathing in the water. It originally had a waterfall that came down here, but it didn't really work. What was happening is two things. Number one, it was splashing on the front of the enclosure, leaving water spots, and then it was actually leaking out the back as well. So we were just kind of struggling with it. We've kind of learned what to do and what not to do, you know? Although I love the little waterfall from the trees kind of sapping down and stuff like that, absolutely beautiful, but it just didn't work. So the Reptarium has always been trial and error, you know? We had never done this before, and 1.0 was an area for us to learn a lot. 2.0, we did learn a lot. Now we get to take all of that information that we learned over five years and apply it to across the street. Eric was talking about this one, and yeah. well, this one is actually gonna be a, a pretty difficult one. Not difficult, but it's gonna be 25 foot circle elevated two foot high. So we'll have a 25 foot circle. So we'll have to do an isolation pad beyond that step, right. go all the way around. We want that to be completely separate of right. the rest of the floor. Yeah. That'll have to include in the radius yeah. as well. So that tie a, into this guy here? This is actually back now. So this is gonna be a wall. Oh, okay. So this is where like filtration and stuff like that. I this gotcha. is a I wall see, yeah. here. And then we'll probably need a pad for this one too. Yeah, he said he's gonna dig that pit and that's it. So if that truss is coming across, I gotta make sure we get this dirt moved over here. So we can keep running those trusses. That's the biggest thing right now. Those trusses in the facade. It didn't take that long at all. Believe it or not, the shed is actually just kind of falling off of it right now. We should be good. Oh, I guess it starts way back here. <laughs> Why would I just say I that? farted. I'm sorry. It's so Is that you? Dude, I felt it on my foot. So we're very excited. Obviously, Gemma is shedding. She's still getting bigger. So we're very excited for her to get her enclosure across the street. Speaking of across the street, Connie, that stinks. There is a I'm lot sorry. of stuff going on across the street today. I think we should go over there and check it out, actually. Yeah, I agree. So let's get her back and we can go do that. I really had to go. I was trying not to, but. <laughs> Smells like you did. Don't make me laugh. I have a snake in my hand. I thought you were going to say you have another one loaded. I'm like, my face is here. Never drink the water down. It's grossero conmigo. It's grossero Would you get her back conmigo. in? Ay, caramba. Oh, my god. You see that? She misses me so much. You got to get her head going that way. got to get it back, Mike. It's the wrong way. What is this, your first day on the job, Mike? Come on. Tengo necesita, uno momento. Tengo necesita. I took it in fifth grade. You're saying I have, I need. And again, you know, crews working together right. into some issues, right? So originally, they were going to dig the entire pond. They are going to put the liner in and get everything set, basically, so that when they come back in a few weeks, they're going to be able to just finish everything out. But because the crews are here with the uh, framing and the glass and all kinds of other stuff, they're just kind of stepping on each other's toes. So Ed actually came in and said, you know what, come and dig this pond literally in a day so they're gonna come about two days early now instead of doing it on the 9th of July they're gonna come in on the 7th dig everything out that way on the 9th when everybody shows up there's gonna be like 50 contractors here just for the pond they'll show up and they'll be able to bang it out over a two or three day period unfortunately we thought we were gonna see kind of the the pond done but uh it turns out that we're just gonna see part of the waterfall we're gonna see the wetland filter and that's gonna be it but that's okay lots going on today I'm the lead of the operation. I'm better looking. Both of those things are not true. I don't know what to say. Age before beauty. If I say the sky is blue, you'll say, you know, actually, it's, it's great. the sky is blue over there. Rock. Yeah, dude, that's like a boulder. So right here where you're standing is gonna get built up about three feet tall with boulders. Three feet tall of universal rock in the future. That'll be the waterfall. Then a river will come along here meandering. Now this is the bridge? Right where these gaps are in the in the blocks. There's two gaps, each for two bridges. Entrance, exit. That's right. You're very Wait, smart today. Is it bad that I didn't know there was gonna be a river until today? I didn't know. You didn't know there was gonna be a river? No, I did not we know. We were literally I mean, talking about, we were joking about I thought that was day. a joke. I thought it was a joke. No, we were joking. I thought we were joking about making a moat with alligators. Super cool. So like the river's gonna be what? A couple feet deep? Yeah. Probably two feet deep, yeah. You know what this river is making me think of? What's that? Chilling on the beach in Mexico. <sighs> I'm Are, you Are you jelly? Are you jelly? I didn't say that on camera. Are you jelly? pushing you in the These are the trucks. So the front of the building is gonna go by. I can see that, Mike. I have eyes. I was just saying it for myself. It's shaped kind of like Johnny Bravo's hair. You know Johnny Bravo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly It's shaped like his hair. I have Johnny Bravo. Scoop that way just a little bit. Mike. So the trust. Do I make you nervous? No, you're just really close. Is this my breath smell bad? No. I'm sorry. Do you trust me? To build dead? No, just in general. Do you trust me? 
Yeah. It is so exciting to see all the work happening over at the Legacy Aquarium. You know, not every day is gonna be crazy, but most days from here out are gonna be big progress. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, because I tell you what, it's gonna be bonkers over the next few months. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, it's like Spanish 101. Which was taken in like sixth grade. Oh, okay. I was I'll like 12 years, oh my god, that was 12 years ago.